Hey, Rani here. Should we play a game? We are now in part four of Ranty Chamber, and this game is longer than I thought it would be. So let's go. Ah. We need to get those keyboard shortcuts working again. Okay, here we are. Um, so last time... Oh, it's actually uh, very helpfully reminding me of exactly where I got to. So yeah, um, we were here. So we look into that, back into this way, back at... We do something with this one. There we go, back out this way. And then we can hop down here. And then what do we do with this? Oh, then we look up, jump, and now we're falling. And then this... Yeah, this is an elevator. So this takes us back up, we then look down, and now we're bouncing on a spring. Okay. Is there anything up there? What would we be doing with a spring that's clever? What can we do with a spring? I don't see anything. Hmm. Oh, wait! What just happened? Sometimes we do things just to go along for the ride. Hmm. I have no idea what the heck just happened. Um... Wait. Huh? What is this? This looks like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the map. This is the game world. That, that's the gallery thing we had right at the start. That is the, um, the kind of spiral room where you have to kind of like, even though it's not a spiral, it works like one. And I can see they put arrows on this so you can see kind of how it all connects together. Okay. Am I supposed to be gleaning something from this that I can use? Because I'll be honest, my spatial memory, especially of a space like this, is not really strong enough to kind of like recognize like something that's maybe a miss in here. That's kind of cool though. I, I guess we're getting into the Easter eggs part of the game. Um, okay, is there a way out of here or do I... Um, this, this is all in the glass, we can't interact with this. Um, I guess we're kind of stuck here unless... Usually you look at these circles and back up, right? I guess not this time. I guess to get out of here we need to, um, we need to teleport. That's cool though. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, I think that's... I think that's the way out of there. Oh, that's right, the previous puzzle. Um, there was a second way out of that room. Was it here? Yes. So this time, let's try and solve this the green way. So we grab this, send it all the way down there. Oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't have put that straight in front of the door I'm about to try and go through. Oh well. And we can draw it this way. Almost, almost got the space to go. Oh, there we go. If you are missing information, it is easy to be misled. Yes. <laughs> wait, back here. Isn't this like the staircase that... Wait, 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 there's a hole down there. There's a hole down there. Have I ever been down there? Um, let's go back to here. Again, let's, let's draw this line out. All the way over there. Go on. And... Oh no, we've got enough, we've got enough. Okay, so I come into here. Okay, there it is, there it is. Aha! What do we have here? Where are we? Uh, I have the feeling I've already solved this puzzle, so let's, let's check. Oh, we've got two things. What, what's this? If you aren't paying attention, you will miss everything around you. Throwing yourself into things can take you to new heights. Wait, we've already solved this one. Right? 
still in the same space here? Ah, now this one. Hmm. I do remember seeing a purple cube kind of just wander around here. I'm wondering how can you do something with my new toy. That said, we've only got the third level of upgrade, and we did see in the kind of beta room that there's actually four. It's entirely possible we need to come back to that later on. Um, what's this? Okay, that sounds, so that's telling us where we currently are, that circle thing. This, the fact it's spinning like that, what does that mean? Is that telling us there's something we need to do there? Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this puzzle. This one's called Climbing the Tower. So again, it looks like it's entirely encased in the glass. I wonder if there's something we can interact with in its periphery. Mm, not looking like it quite yet. This one will take us, yeah, that'll take us back up to the entrance. We don't want to go that way. Seems anything interactive here. And yes, that's yeah, that's how we got we got here. We got through the um Oh! There's a fourth way out of that room actually, we've never tried. Um yeah, this this room here, right? It's called four different exits, and we've never been up there. So let's go do that. Oh my god, I'm actually building some kind of mental model of this place. <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't think it'd be possible with so many convoluted, well, just structures in general, I suppose. Push this over here. Jump on you, jump on you, and then we need to grab you. Gotta use the middle mesh for this, can't use the gamepad. This game doesn't actually officially have any gamepad support, which is interesting because like it 90% works without you know, any, <laughs> any official game support at all. Ah! No, not quite, not quite, not quite. Okay, let's try that again. That has to be possible, right? It might be that I have to move this little cube up to make a platform to, uh, to kind of ride on, but I probably want to be quite careful because I'm aware that they explode on contact with the edge of a force field. Okay. So yeah, if I grab this, can I tell it to go, say, there? That might give us the slight edge we need. Actually, let's try and edge it a tiny bit closer to Yep, there we go. Okay, here we go. Ah! No, no. No, we didn't want that. Oh, I think I've got it stuck up there now. Oh, I can just about see it from over here. Oh, but I'm behind the force field, so I won't be able to grab it. Okay, let's try that again. Um, there we go, four different exits. It's nice how easily they let you reset the puzzles. That's uh, I'm glad I don't have to do any trickery to, to do that. Press this one this way. Okay, and then we just jump on the cube, jump on the bigger cube. We can use this one to make a tiny ladder. Ah! Crap you. There we go. Climb. Okay, so now we want to see if we can get this into a position where we can... Oh, it, it bumped into me and stopped. I didn't know they could do that. Okay, we want to jump. Oh, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. Okay. So I don't think that's how you do it. It felt kind of viable, but I think there's just slightly too much altitude required to do that. Which is weird, because it doesn't look that much higher than that one. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that when we've got more ideas about how to complete it. Wait, hang on. Oh no, I was thinking like maybe I could drain this to kind of like build something up there, but no, I'd have to, um, I'd have to get it through this force field, which isn't happening. Okay, so what's this here? One long corridor. Oh, apparently I've been here. I didn't remember this. Whoa! Ah, yeah, I know how to do this. I must go backwards, right? Go backwards. Surely if I ignore a problem, it can't actually manifest. 
Okay, it's not a matter of going backwards. So if I step just close enough, the reality... Oh, that is cool. That is actually really cool being able to see that the uh, through the portal into another, into another room. That is really cool. That is so well done. I'm actually curious on how they did that. I mean, I'm assuming they're rendering to texture the other puzzle and then... Then doing some kind of masking. I mean, maybe stencil buffer, but I don't know. How will I get down there? I don't really seem to have any of the tools. Hmm. I guess there's nothing. I can't, like, say, harvest, harvest anything out of the walls. I can't damage this. Oh, can I? No, no. I was wondering if I could like maybe like metal click laser through the uh, through the portal, but no. That also wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so what happens the second I step across the threshold? Oh, I have to be entirely looking at it, and then it teleports me there. Okay. Okay, so there's actually an invisible wall there to stop you doing that, to stop you kind of you know cheesing your way through that. Fair. Right. I did have an idea of how I might solve this one. So I need to be a little bit further inside the inside the room. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that's gonna work. Now a big part of the problem here is that the second you um yeah, the second you issue a command, it starts going into the force field, meaning it will um, it will self-destruct. So might be something else I need to do there. What's this one? Oh, this is climbing the tower, isn't it? Okay. Did I get into here? I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, that's... That's how we got into this room, and then we have... One, two, three... I'm assuming we're gonna have a four at some point. Okay, is there anything special about any... What's this? Some obstacles are more stubborn than others. Okay, let's, uh, let's draw you out. Oh yeah, we've, we've solved that one. Yeah, definitely. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just realised that eye there is in there. So that this room is actually above this room. And I'm going to guess, if I go into here and I look down, I will see... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so these rooms are actually stacked atop one another, and we can see a four up there, and I think I have been in a room with a four before. The question is, where? Where have I seen them before in a room before? I know I've definitely seen one. And all, all of these all go. Oh wait, this doesn't go back to the entrance, okay. Okay, alright. So not all of those sort of like blue cube doors go back to the entrance, I thought they did. There's apparently two more exits out of this room, I haven't found them yet. Oh yeah, we had some puzzles over here, didn't we, that we just never really interacted with. Okay, we have a lot of force fields here. And then we have a glass in case. I think that might be the elevator um, from, the, from one of the previous puzzles. Okay, and then... Then we have some laser things I have to put cubes into. We have some kind of empty room over empty looking room over there. This, I think, was... Yeah, this was that previous puzzle way um, that we used to find, like, the map room. The question is, how am I going to get a cube in here? Is there perhaps something peculiar about this room? Some way in which I can interact with it that I would not normally be able to pull off. 
how would I? Yeah, because I've got all of these force fields, so I presumably do not need to pull cubes from other rooms into here. Yeah, same goes for here. How, how would I get a cube into this room? That's weird. Because while there are plenty of cubes in here. Oh, I've just realized what it is. I just, I think I've just, no, no, hang on, that wouldn't make sense. I was wondering, could they actually, you know, given how many cubes ah, I have to deal with here, I was wondering, can I actually, say, run a thread from here into here and then all the way down there? But I'm not sure that would actually work. Still, let's give it a try. Let's, uh, yeah, let's grab you. And let's send you all the way over there. Let's see what happens. Now, this isn't a this isn't a great line drawing algorithm, mate. Yeah, you know, you've got like doubled pixels on the uh, on the diagonals. <laughs> Minus ten points. Okay, so then maybe I grab this here. And then over there. And then presumably I can pull it down with me, right? What was down here? Oh, no. No, no, I've, I've messed up because you can already see the window. Yeah, as soon as you can see the window, you're kind of locked in. But let's have a bit of a look around and see if we can... See if we can spot how we kind of like carry a thread through into somewhere we can actually use it. Oh, hang on, didn't we just learn that one of these walls was kind of um, permeable in some way? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, it's this way. Oh, okay, right, okay. Ah. And then down here is the map room. Oh, a jump pad. I think that might be our first one in the entire game. So yeah, I meant to look that way. I'm falling down, and then the map room reveals itself. Okay. Okay. Let's pop back into there, because I think there might be another exit. I just didn't notice for the first time around, because I went for it so quick. So, look this way, back into it. Okay, we're now in a parallel wherever this is. And then down here, look through the window. Yeah, I don't think we'd be able to carry the thread through here. And look down, and then we're on the spring. Bounce a few more times. Obviously, if you time it correctly. And then we're in. Ah! No, I did it again. I did it again. I stepped forward without really thinking about where I was going. Okay, so I'm looking here. Is there anything special about this room? Is there anything like, really obvious about it? Not really. It's just a room. Okay, let's go back through that again. We're going to find the secret. We're going to find the secret. It's going to happen. That is spooky. Every, every time that happens, it's still kind of... <laughs> Spatial distortions freak me out, man. Okay, now we're in here, and now the elevator just starts moving sometimes, and then we're on this. Ah! It doesn't if we're looking down. It's like a speedrunning trap. Okay, that's inch long to here. Okay, we can see the hole in the floor. Can we... Can we, in fact, avoid that by... Oh, no! I'm not sure there. Did I, um... Did I just hit the ceiling? Try that again. We're going to get really fast at this little, um, motion puzzle. Okay. 
And I guess the developers just really like this sequence, given how many times I've been through it. Oh, I need to look up a bit more and then down. There we go. And then down onto it, and then... Then miss the jump again! There we go, got it this time. Okay, let's give this another go. Okay, go. No, no, I think there's an invisible wall there. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. I don't think that's reachable, for normal means. Okay. Let's have another look at this. Oh wait, there's a window there. Oh yeah, that must be the window that gets you between those two. Okay, right, got it. Got it. Anything special about these? I mean, they're very, very, very toxic to cubes. Yes, I don't think we can pull the thread of cubes all the way through there. It doesn't, seem, doesn't really seem possible. There has to be a way to get in here. Hmm. The other thing is, even if I pulled a thread of cubes through the, uh, the entire sequence of jumps, I don't really see how I'd get it out of one of these glass cases into one of these. Seems like you're pretty well locked in there once you've uh, once you've started that sequence of events. Hmm. Pretty confident you don't pull it through there. I'm just I'm just in some way of turning this off or bypassing this actually. You know, I haven't actually tested that this actually destroys the cubes. I just assumed. So let's test our assumptions. I thought it's a pretty safe assumption, but it's an assumption worth testing. I really need to find a way of remapping this game's controls. <laughs> and then... Yeah, this will probably just destroy the cubes, right? That's what I'm expecting to happen. Oh! Mate, you need to go up, mate. Oh. There you go. Wait. It doesn't destroy the cubes. What? Well, I guess that's how you get... To... I, I don't really understand why that doesn't destroy the cubes, but whatever, I guess. I want to be careful here not to box myself in. Ah! There we go. And although there are a lot of red cubes in that room to use, I'm going to imagine there's a chance you can run out before you reach the other end of this puzzle. I wonder why this doesn't destroy the cubes. That doesn't quite make sense to me. I wonder if there's like some extra criteria required. Yeah, maybe only... Maybe they destroy placed cubes, but not kind of like drawn cubes from a source like this. Okay, I think we're going to go that way first. So yeah, let's grab that and... Redirect it all the way over here. Well, the other thing is, even if we run out, it doesn't matter because it'll just sort of continue sort of like drawing them out of the air, won't it? That's how this mechanic works. So here's my question. If this isn't being destroyed, why is the WTF sign destroyed when you try and do this? I was acting a bit weird. Anyway, just a bit more. I can't believe it didn't occur to me to try this earlier. Okay, we should now be able to draw some of these in. Yes, and now we've got all the cubes we could possibly want. One, and a two. What do we have? The more we complete, the harder it gets to find what we missed. Oh, and now we're back here. Why is the game prompting me to go this way? Pretty sure I've been both ways here. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here. Right, where's the stop again? Okay, there's a there's a reference point. What's this one? I think we've seen this one. Life is a way of pushing us in the right direction. Ah! 
Okay, okay. Yeah, there's definitely one I haven't completed there. So let's go back to this one. Because there's a second door that we can open the same way. Bit weird that you'd have two separate puzzles have the same solution effectively. I guess there's going to be something else we find out about this later on. I kind of like what they've done here though, where they kind of have the geometry of one puzzle just sort of act as the sort of maze of another. That's, that's, that's really cool. So definitely really someone who uh, wanted to push the boundaries of what Unreal Engine 3 could do. I guess that's one of the things, right, is that quite often pe people sort of pick up a tool and some people, rather than seeing, you know, what it's intended for, like say a hammer and going, I'm going to bang in a nail with that. They immediately start thinking, well, what could I do with this hammer that doesn't involve driving nails? It seems to really, really, really draw in people who like making puzzle games. Okay, and that's how we get them into here. It's a bit strange that they have two puzzles with basically the same solution, as long as this, you know, works. Which I'm guessing it will. Can't think of a good reason it wouldn't. There we go. One, and a two. What do we have? Solving a problem may require approaching it from a different angle. I don't really quite understand how that falls into that one, but okay. All right. So, I mean, I'm gonna guess this is our completion. I mean, like, we're pretty close to complete, right? We've got like a few there, a few there. That, that's gotta be like 75% easily. I quite like this as a way of kind of like um, demonstrating player progress. Okay. So we found every way out of that. That's good. We've got some more down here that we haven't quite figured out how to get. Ah, okay. Don't look down. This one has an, al an alternate solution that we haven't found yet. Yeah, so this one, you do that, and then you can back up, and the room's changed. Which is fair enough. That's the proper solution to the puzzle. What's the other solution going to be? Because you can look down, and that's how you fail the puzzle, because you fall. There's just something I can see in the shoes or something. I'm just going under the elevator. That'd be that'd be a good trick. No. Hmm. What other exits could there be from this? What led into this puzzle? Maybe that'll give me a bit of a hint. Ah, it was this one. Um, this one's just... <laughs> this one was so far in the game ago, I've probably forgotten how to actually complete it. Um... Nice and so Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, we need to use that one to block the door. Yeah, I've solved this puzzle before, but I've completely forgotten how to do it. Use this one to block that door, now we can take this cube with us. And then we can take this cube with us. This one there to just make a platform to get over this hurdle. This one there. Place one. There. No, not there. There. Take the virus. Use this to open the doors again. Actually, there's two beams in there. That's interesting. Ah, okay. So, nowadays we know that we can replicate a block by um, 
you know, making a pattern, but we only have one block to work with, so I don't think that's what we're doing here. I don't think it's possible to get that block through there with us. So, let's put this in here. And open that. That closes that behind us, and I don't think we can get back through. And then, there's those up there, so we need like at least four blocks to work with. Oh, this one again, this one's really hard, isn't it? Yeah, there was nothing down there. I remember that, I remember that much. And then that gets us up to here, so that, ah, okay. That's the alternate path, even though it kind of shows up on the map as kind of being... Oh, no, 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 it, no, it is a separate path to that one. So yeah, there's, there's multiple paths out of here that need, that need us to somehow drag a cube through with us. So this one, is this preceded by a... No, it's not. Maybe we could take some cubes with us from the previous puzzle. So what was this one again? Oh, it's got a window. Where's this taking us to? Oh, this is the previous puzzle. Right, that's right, yeah, we used this to get the, uh, was it the second gun upgrade? Okay. Oh, I've lost the teleporter I came through, actually. Is it here? Are you lost yet? Okay, I think we've just unlocked a new puzzle, though. Yeah, and then through here, life isn't making it to the end. Anyway, to get there. Do I need to take a block with me? Is that even possible? Is this going? Ah, we're in here, so now we can take that. I can travel back through this, if I can find the thing. Yeah, there we go. That was a bit weird, I don't think that was supposed to quite happen. And then we can get into here. Yep, and then we can go through here, and then we can block the door before we step into the beam. So put it sort of there. Aha, we're in. Oh, wait! We're just back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's through here again? Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's something behind that. Oh, my God. I'm, I've got lost. I'm trying... <laughs> this is one of the things with this whole sort of Metroidvania structure is that um, you can kind of, like, just find yourself pulling a thread and then going around in circles. Okay, let's put you all right, there. Let's take it with us. Got a weird seam on the ceiling there. Okay, I'm trying to remember how we solve this one. Oh, that's right, we put the block down to kind of block the, uh, block the path, don't we? And this, this glass is so we can't take it with us, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on, no, we can't do that. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe we could take this block out and use it to um, stop this door closing so we could basically carry the block with us, but we can't do that as we need it to open the path. Unless we take this cube with us. Aha! Okay, all right, okay. We can then use this to prop this door open. Okay. Now, now we have many cubes on this side. We have, we have three, whereas we're only meant to have two. We can surely do something with this. We put this in here. 
block this. Put that there. Okay, okay, we're gonna break this puzzle wide open. Either that or the puzzle's gonna break my brain wide open. I bet so much is happening first. Okay, put you there. Take you out. Okay, I put one there. I can then put one there. Hmm, I was just wondering, is there a way I can... Ah, there is. Oh, hang on, no. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can take all three cubes with me, but there's not, because if I take this one out... Um, yeah, if I take this one out, obviously I can't proceed because I need to take this one out. Yeah, so I'm put one back in there so I can get to that one. And if I, <laughs> if I put that one there, I can then, you know, I have a space to put a cube in there, but then when I take this one out... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I then put that there and then take it with me? And then I take this one. And then I take this one, yeah! And now we've got our three cubes! We can put them in! Oh, that is so clever. A puzzle that... A sequence of puzzles that you can... That individually are solvable, but you can chain them. Some outcomes are more favorable than others. Wait, have I been here? I've been here. Have I already solved this in this exact way? Am I losing my mind? Okay, let's try taking all these cubes with us. We can't replicate these as we only have three. Yeah, we need like much more than three to open that. Um... Yeah, we need much more than three. Let me just double check. Have I, have I already been in there? I feel like I, oops. No! Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay, all right. Well, I kind of wrecked that puzzle, didn't I? Um... Oh, wait, it respawns the cubes for you if you've gone through that way. Whew, thank you, game, thank you. And that is design. Okay, so I'm taking that to mean that I might be able to do something with this puzzle. If, if, Aha, and I can put... Oh, they've got two doors. I've got double doors, so I need to actually put both of these in. Okay, okay, we got this. Now I can take this. No, I can't. I blocked the wrong door. <laughs> okay, so I blocked this door. And... Aha, hang on, I can't... I can't go that way because um, if I went that way, I'd hit that laser and these doors would come down, meaning I can't take this with me. So do I need to... Can I just block this? I think I'd need to block it from both sides, wouldn't I? Yes, I would. So yeah, I block it from both sides. And now I don't have a cube to put there. I could take it off and block that, but now, now I'm in a situation where I only have, yeah, if I go through here, it's going to block me in. And they put double doors in there, so I can't just jam it with that cube. Okay, let's reset this. Ah, good. I'm glad they keep respawning these all here for me. That's actually really, that's really considerate of the game designer. Okay, you're in there, that allows us to pass through here. And then block that. And we can take this. Let's just try taking these first as an experiment. We can raise that. And then we can block these. 
Ah, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no. I need that up so I can put a block under it, which I can only do if I... Which I, and then I can only put the block under it by walking past here, which requires me to put two cubes in. But then... But then, I've got another problem. Which is that I would actually need four cubes to activate that door. Hmm. There's no way of pulling one from in here, is there? Under construction? Oh, I thought I'd already done this puzzle. I guess I haven't. Hmm. What can I do in here with only two cubes? They're not regenerating. Not like I have a uh, enough to, um, you know, grow them. I mean, I'm going to assume that the you know, good old mouse drag doesn't do much for me here because there's only one cube. They're finite cubes, it's not a cube spawner. Hmm. What was this puzzle called? It was called the Entrepreneur, wasn't it? Being an Entrepreneur. I wonder why it's under construction, I wonder what's kind of like the significance of that, whether that's just a joke or whether that's actually something that was never quite finished. Now I could... No, I couldn't actually. I was going to say I could jam that door open, but I actually can't because... Um, I need all three there to hold the door open. Hang on. Hang on. We learned earlier that some of these fields don't destroy bricks if they're moved using the... Oops. If they're destroyed using the... Um, if they're destroyed using... The, if they're moved using the, uh, the middle click sort of laser thing. So, theoretically, we can actually move this all the way through here and then use it to jam the door and then use it to pull the other cubes in with us. At which point we'll have enough to replicate them. Okay, yeah, I'll pull the other one through, because that means I can then replicate them and carry them through. I'll do a replicate in here. I'll replicate in here. Okay, yeah, and I think that's the reason they gave us two, right? I mean, not because we need to, but as a clue that there's two doors and two cubes. Aha! At which point I can now... Uh, consume these. And this, I can make a nice little pile. At which point we'll have... I don't think we'll have enough. I don't think we'll have enough still. We'll, we'll only have six. And we need way more than six. Okay. Oh no, we deleted one! Ah! But yeah, let's, uh, let's just have a quick look at this. Because I'd, I'd need eight, right? I'd need eight to be able to get to self-replicate. You can't just, um... Oh no, why did I do that? Oh my god, I've... I've wrecked it. <sighs> um, is there a puzzle with lots of blocks where I can... Here's one. I can just I can just check this theory. Yeah, let's uh let's grab some. Is there any way I can make a self-replicating pattern with only six blocks? Because it won't fill the center in if I do that, will it? I have to fill in the corners. Right, okay. Hmm. Are there any patterns I can make? I, I, there can't be any patterns I can make that would actually work in this situation. No, I, I, need, I need at least eight blocks to get them to replicate. Hmm. I 
But something has just occurred to me. I can solve another puzzle in that room. Yes. If I draw these two out, I can, I can use them to solve that puzzle over there. So let's go do that. I really wish this was mapped to the gamepad. Oh yeah, I can only move one at a time on this, can't I? Go on, line up, line up, line up. I guess I should probably put them together so I can draw them together in one. Oh, it's kind of got stuck in the wall. <laughs> yeah, they have some degree of intelligence, um, but they won't avoid ob ob um, obstacles. Oh, no, 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 don't go that way. <laughs> okay, almost free of this room, almost. Okay. No. And be very careful not to delete one of these blocks because I keep doing it. Oh no, 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 no. I can't collect these without deleting one. Damn it! Because I merged them together. Oh no, no, I managed it. Oh. Okay. Okay, now we've got enough to solve this puzzle. So put one in there. Block this. Um, we can actually use two cubes here instead and just block the laser. We can then block this. Ah. We can then take this one. We can take this one. We can take these two. And we can take this one. Oh my god. Hey, we've got one spare, how about that? Aha! What do you have to say for yourself, game? Many small obstacles can make for one large problem. Don't I know it? Okay, what's through here? Oh! Huh? How is this a puzzle? There's one cube and one place to put it. Ah, uh, uh, I think I know what this wants me to do with it. Because this this would give me this would give me um and one, two, just count these. Three, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would. That still wouldn't give me enough to replicate them, but it's getting closer. Maybe I need to keep, you know, pulling this along. Or maybe there's going to be like a fountain of these if I pop draw it out. Nope. Maybe it just is that simple. If you lose sight of what's important, it may not be there when you need it. Wait. Is this the don't look down room again? It is. Ah, maybe this is the other connection to the don't look down room. Signs may, may be helping you more than you realise. Okay. Did this just connect to a different room? The world changes. The world rarely changes when we watch to see it happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought... I, I did get thrown a bit, because I, I came into here and went like, oh yeah, something must have... Hang on, if I look away and walk around here, does it... Yes! Yes, I thought... I thought that happened. So I came, I, I grabbed the cube and came back out and went, where's the door gone? Oh, it's over there. I must have misremembered where it was. No, no, it's because I looked away from it. Oh, this game is so good. 
Okay. Whew. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. What's this room here? Oh yeah, this one. Um, so yeah, there's two ways out of this room that we haven't found. So you can jump down it. Yep, you can jump down it. And where's this take us? Yeah, this one takes us all the way back here. Which is... Yeah, that one. Oh, okay, so yeah, we, uh... This line is actually vertical, not horizontal. That's interesting and unexpected. So yeah, so we can walk across this one, right? And everything be okay. I feel like we've done that one before. Ah, and then there's a... Sort of a spooky eye we can look at to go the other way. Oh wait, this is the, this is the tower. This is the tower that we're supposed to be climbing. Ah, okay. What? Hmm, okay. There's still two exits out of that room though that we haven't found. What's this one? This one has a, uh, an exit we haven't found. We all fall down and there's nothing there to support us. Now that's the one that we need to hold up. And this one takes us through the wrong door there. Okay. And that's the base of the tower. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's draw that over there. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, yeah, we've we've um, we've sort of definitely solved that one before. Let's have another look at this room. This is encased in glass, isn't it? So we can't directly interact with it. And that's yeah, we've been here. I remember that. That's the uh, sort of beta room. We've been through that. Yep, we definitely have. And this... I don't know. I don't remember what that one's for. Hmm. Hang on. I know how you solve this. Because... If I can't just do this... Oh, which I can. Oh, okay. Oh, you can just make a bridge here. That's actually kind of... I thought this was going to be something way clever where I had to like draw the, the, um, the thread all the way up from the bottom and make like a staircase to cross this gap. But I guess I can just make a bridge as well. That works for me too. And these respawn, so I can just safely kind of, you know, absorb their cubes all day. We're going to play Minecraft here. It's always cubes. Oh, oh, I moved a bit faster than I was expecting there. Yeah, okay. What do we have here? Building a bridge can get you over a problem. It sure can. Okay, so we need to draw some of these out using the line drawer thing. I'm gonna guess there's no other way of, yeah, there's no other way of getting a cube in there. Yep. I feel a bit 
weird about this, about this, because it seems like this exact, this exact sequence is in so many places. Again, kind of like, um, sort of knowing that, you know, the blocks replicate. If that was supposed to be the puzzle, then the puzzle kind of repeated like 15 times, which is a bit weird. Okay. The problem may not be where you're going, but how to get there. Mm, you're damn right about that. Oh, there's a sixth floor. There's a seventh one up there as well. Ah, okay. Okay, right. And we're back here, we're back here. Well, this one might be solvable now because we know that we can attach this to here. And we can presumably jump onto that, right? So we have to be quite careful, but... Yep, we can. Okay, and... Now we need to make some kind of bridge that we can cross. Oh, I just love it when a game makes you feel clever. I've actually pinned myself into a corner, so actually, yes, I do, but sometimes it makes me feel kind of stupid as well. Uh, okay, that's good. And then we can link it to this block. Aha, there we go. Kind of got the hang of that now, yeah. So what we should, in theory, be able to do is just um, sort of bridge it onto there. Alright, we need to move this one out of the way as well. So let's just attach it. Now, to cross that last bit of the gap, we need to get this thing all the way over to there, and it will start disappearing as soon as it hits the wall. So, let's get moving. Ah! Oh, I nearly fell off then. Whew. Sometimes you need to be carried. Oh wait, it didn't disappear. What? Why does the WTF one disappear and this one doesn't? Okay, that's floor seven. Ah! Ah, a new upgrade, a new upgrade. Okay, I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. So are we just like opening kind of passageways between the, between the parts of the tower here? Okay. What is that in there? I don't remember where the, I think I've been here before, but I don't remember how I got to it. Oh, it's under the stairs that you can't normally walk along, okay. Right, so let's draw these out of here. Let's do a bit more than that. How many do we have here? We need to be quite careful and disassemble them. Oh, wait, these ones respawn. So I don't, I don't need to be particularly careful with this. I'm wondering, does each part of the tower puzzle link to the next? You know, um, that's what the exit doors are actually for. Okay, let's make a nice dozen line of these. Oh, hang on, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm meant to do this, aren't I? Um, can I say target that through the glass? Yes, somehow. Oh, I've pushed myself into the floor. Ah, uh, hang on. So I think I need to place one and then move it up. Ah, and then I need to place one, move it up, place one, and then I should be able to move it that way. Ah, uh, but I've kind of got the leader. Ah, there we go. Oh, this game is this game is just such a great puzzle game. Ah, uh, but I want uh, I want it to go I want it to go back down. How do I get How do I get it to come back down? Um, ah, I need to delete that one. Ah, there's no crouch button, so I can't look under and grab the bottom of, that, of the uh, cube there and direct it to the corner. Hmm. Ah, I wonder if what I actually do is I actually get it above 
by building outside. And then, if I tell this block to move into there, no, it won't quite do what I was expecting it to do. Try that, move that block into there. Oh no, it's just gonna draw it out. That's not what I wanted. That's the opposite of what I wanted. How do I get them to go around that corner? Hmm. It's gotta be possible. Up there? But then I can't reach I can't reach the head of the key. I can't reach the head of the trail. Ah. No, hang on, hang on, that's not gonna work. I was thinking, what if I could get it to kind of there and then Okay, let's draw that one up and then let's use that to just clear this, you know, unclog this pipe that we've just filled full of cubes. <laughs> okay. Then we put one down and move it up one. Put one down. Move it two. Put one down. Move it across to there. Put one down. Across to there. One down. As long as we can get it to move to there. Which it won't. Hmm. Maybe I need to intentionally leave a gap in the pipe. Yeah, because I can't, I can't lead the tube from this end because this end is, you know, inaccessible, it's behind glass. But then I also, by leading it from this end, I can't make that end go down. I can get higher by standing on cubes, and I'm not sure I can get a different angle on things by doing that. I feel like I've solved this puzzle before. I don't remember really struggling with it. Nope, it simply won't go. Hmm. Well, that's one I have to chew on, I think. Because the room on the other side of the door looks vaguely familiar, or maybe also not. Hmm. Well, we've made some good progress. I'm pretty happy with that wall of um, <laughs> advice. Let's guess how I'd describe it. I haven't made as much progress today as I was kind of hoping to. Oh, I can't actually teleport back to this room. It's kind of weird. And what's this one? I'm just gonna check this. What's this? Yeah, I've done that one. Um, this one. This one gets me to tower level four, and I'm pretty sure I've already been there. But I'm also pretty sure I haven't quite figured out how to do this one. Yeah, because somehow... Oh, hang on, I think I might know how to solve it. Oh, if I could get them to stop respawning, that is. Oh, no, don't do that. If I can draw that one that way. Ah, oh, uh, no, no, it's not quite the middle I wanted. Anyway, I think that'll do for today. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, Pick us up tomorrow and see if we can get any further. This game is definitely continuing to sort of like make my brain itch in good ways. I hope you enjoyed it too.